Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Instant Pot Million Dollar Meatballs. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson, and I show you how to do Instant Pot stuff here on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing one of my favorite recipes. It's a new recipe from my blog, 365 days of crockpot.com that I've posted recently and we loved it so much that I wanna make it again and show you exactly step-by-step step how to do it. It's a super simple recipe. You might already have all the ingredients at home that you need to make this recipe. So let's get started. I like to use gloves when I'm um, mixing meatballs just cause I don't know, it doesn't get so messy and, and things like that. So if you don't have them, just make sure your hands are nice and clean. So we'll be mixing together the meat and this is just one pound of extra lean ground beef or lean ground beef just something that's not so fatty or else it'll just be greasy and gross so make sure it's a lean and then this is a teaspoon of um, minced chopped dried onions you can also use fresh onion if you have that and you'd rather it would be just a fourth a cup of minced um, onion and then one egg um, now the fun thing that makes these meatballs super fun is the addition of orzo. So you may have heard of the uh, porcupine meatballs. And porcupine meatballs are meatballs made with rice inside where the rice is, goes in uncooked and then you cook the meatballs and it expands out and it kind of looks like these porcupine quills sticking out. So this is kind of a take on, um, using the orzo is kind of a take on porcupine meatballs. Um, orzo is just kind of rice shaped pasta. And I always find the Barilla brand just at my grocery nor normal grocery store. No, it's not hard to find at all. And so we're gonna put a half cup of that uncooked orzo in there. A tablespoon of dried parsley and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll do two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. All right, and now we're gonna just use those gloved hands to mix that up really nice. Combine it well. Now, if you'd like, you can use ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken. Um, that will work just fine. Make sure that pasta gets in there really well. You notice we didn't put breadcrumbs in there. That's because we have the pasta in there instead. So that's kind of a fun little trick. Now we're gonna form these into meatballs. Now, sometimes I like to use my, um, it's it's like a cookie scoop thing to make the meatballs. Or you can just use your hands and form them into about ping pong size. That's, that's about a golf, golf ball, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, you, can, you can make them bigger, smaller, whatever you like. Now you'll notice it makes, how many meatballs it makes. You can double this recipe. Easily, just double the ingredients that I just put in, and you won't double the second part. You'll just keep it the same. So we're gonna put a cup of water in there, or a cup of beef broth. So we're gonna do a cup of water and then a teaspoon of better than bouillon beef base. If you don't have the beef base, um, you just use a cup of broth instead. I like the better than bouillon products. I usually buy them at Costco in the big containers. They really have a lot of flavor. And the thing is, with the Instant Pot, I'm constantly um, using broth, you know, where a recipe will call for broth. And instead of broth, you put a teaspoon of bouillon, better than bouillon, and a cup of water, and it just works the same way as you would with a cup of broth. Okay, once that's all done, now I like to use the Classico brand lately. I don't know, it's really good. But you can use whatever brand of pasta sauce that you prefer. Um, and this is the roasted garlic one. And I'm gonna put in the whole jar um, and you'll just kind of dump it right on top of those meatballs. Now, if you're scared of the splattering, make sure to get yourself one of these cool aprons that I'm wearing. I'll put the link in the notes below, but it's my, it's my new apron I got. Um, that cost, I think, around 22 bucks. Shipped right to you. All right, we're ready to cook, so put the lid on tight, make sure the valve is set to sealing, and then we're gonna set the manual button or pressure cook button, depending on your model, to four minutes. 
Once the pressure releases for about five to 10 minutes on its own, you can release any remaining pressure by moving the valve to venting, which I've already done, and then remove the lid. And then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of mozzarella cheese and about a fourth a cup, maybe a little more of Parmesan cheese. And they're ready to serve. Don't those look so delicious? You can see that the orzo is cooked in there. If you like the recipe I shared today, you're gonna love my new cookbook. It has about 400 different Instant Pot uh, dinner recipes in it. And each of the recipes comes with a little QR code that you can scan in with your, your smartphone and it will open up to my, my website will, where it will have reviews, nutrition information, more pictures, and lots of things like that. So this is a great resource. You can get it by going to the description below. I'll put the link in the description below. You can buy it there. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.